What's up creators, Patrick here. Today I'm going to try to answer the question, is it worth shelling out the clams for a professional editing keyboard? Let's get to it. I've been using this Editor's Keys keyboard for Premiere Pro for Windows for quite a while now. I'm going to cover a little bit of the basics, give you some pros and cons, and then give you a summary of my thoughts. First off, what is it? It's a super sleek keyboard with all the keyboard shortcuts for Premiere Pro printed onto the key. So much like maybe when you were learning typing and you looked down at the keyboard, or maybe you still do, Things are visually explained so you're not flying blind. Sometimes with text or sometimes with a nice little picture that corresponds with what you would see inside the program. This is especially handy for complex programs like Final Cut or Premiere or After Effects that have tons of commands that are all buried inside preference windows that scroll for pretty much ever. I first decided to pick one of these up for a couple of reasons. Firstly, I look down at my keyboard all the time. Secondly, every time I watch a tutorial and I pick up a new keyboard shortcut, it takes me a really long time to kind of work it into my workflow or build a habit around it. So that's only for commands that I use all the time or multiple times per editing session. It's way harder to build those habits for keys you don't use that often. And this speeds up that process. Remembering those shortcuts can really speed up your workflow, but just as important to me as being more efficient with my editing was not hitting the wrong key and screwing things up. Also, I'll admit that every time I see one, I think they look pretty cool. And and I decided to try out this brand in specific because I wasn't ready to give up my glowing key keyboard. I should mention that this video is not sponsored by Editor's Keys and I am only reviewing one keyboard. They make keyboards for Mac and PC and dozens of different programs. They have keyboard overlays for laptops and wired and wireless and all kinds of stuff. This is a review of just the Windows Premiere Pro keyboard wired and backlit. Now it comes with a one year warranty and a 30 day money back guarantee, which I actually used the first time because the first one I got had a split left shift key and I kept hitting the wrong thing in the middle of editing. It was a real pain in the butt. So I ended up sending it back and getting one without a split left shift key. So I know that they'll follow through on that return policy. The typing on this keyboard isn't bad. It takes a little while to get used to, but the key response is pretty good and I do enjoy typing on it. My favorite thing about the keyboard, other than the commands printed on the keys, of course, is that those keys light up and you can toggle the light on and off. My number one pro, and I cannot state this strongly enough, is that this keyboard has helped me learn more about Premiere and how to use it well. It's great to be able to hit the correct command every time. You can trim a clip you didn't mean to by hitting the wrong thing on the keyboard, so the stakes are pretty high. It's backlit, so you can edit in the dark, as many of us do, and still see not only your keys, but those commands that are printed on them. It still has all the regular keyboard stuff printed on it, so you don't need to swap it out when you're not editing. And of course, it looks really cool. Now for the cons. One of the biggest ones was just brought to my attention by Rocket Jump Film School, who just released a video on optimizing your editing workflow by changing your keyboard commands. The con there is that no updates will be reflected on the keyboard itself, you are stuck with what you have. And on top of that, Adobe Premiere Pro Creative Cloud is cloud-based software that updates automatically. So if they ever push down an update that changes something, your keyboard is gonna be out of date. And a con to me at least is the cost. I used to have a keyboard that was the same number of keys and was backlit and I could edit in the dark that was a regular keyboard and it was just under 20 bucks and it lasted me a couple of years and I really liked it. They're a lot cheaper now than when I first bought this model. I think most of them are around 100 or 120 bucks. I bought this one for $159.98 plus shipping that brought it up close to $225. To put that in perspective, I have brand new name brand lenses that cost less than that. Heck, that's roughly the cost of the computer I use 90% of the time. So in conclusion, would I recommend it? Is it worth it? I would ask people to consider how much time they spend in their software software and how well they already know their keyboard commands, as well as to consider those cons, like not being able to remap the keys and the costs, including shipping. And for me, if I had to do it over, would I buy it again? And let me tell you about something I did when I first got it. I would look down at the keyboard every so often and look at one of the keys that I had no idea about, and then watch a tutorial on that command. You know, it familiarized me with the program. And during this process, I learned things like that the A key selects everything downstream so you don't have to draw a big square around everything and sometimes miss certain things. I also learned that the G key is for audio gain and brings up a much more complex panel than the little volume adjustments you get in the properties panel or the effects panel. And that this gain control box doesn't have this six decibel boost limit that that panel has for some reason. And these things to me have been invaluable. Between learning them and learning to edit better and faster and not smashing the wrong key and destroying stuff, I would say that this keyboard has easily paid for itself and that it's easily worth it. And I would get it again. Yeah, in the end, 
no regrets. All right, that's it for this one. I hope I helped your decision-making process if you're thinking about getting an editing keyboard. And as always, thanks for liking and watching and subscribing. Bye-bye.